Hello friends, in this video I'm going to introduce using recursion, dynamic programming and divide and conquer to solve problem. The example is burst balloons. Again, this video assume you watched my previous video. If you have not watched, you go to this link, click algorithm, you will find all of my previous video. I suggest you watch those video first. And for this example, I also suggest you watch those two videos because it will use divide and conquer. Okay, let's go back to our problem here. For this example, if input is 3158, each step we have an option. If we burst three first, then we got this sub problem. If we burst one first, we got this one. If we burst five first, we got this one. If we burst eight first, we got this one. So the time complexity would be n factorial because the whole subtree they are born node here and each node here will have three subtree as you can see here one two three so that's n factorial the problem is we need to remove element from the array that is not good so as previous example, instead of burst that element first, we do it in reverse order. We burst that element in the last. So we got this recurrent tree. For example, if you burst three in the last, so the first you need to burst one of the balloons on the left with is empty and uh, you also need burst of balloon on the right that's one five eight after those two sub problems solved then the value you can get is one times three times right here is one so with this idea we don't need to remove element from array as you can see this sub problem exactly same with this one so that's remind us we can use in memorizing so here is our solution we push one in the beginning and one in the last then we have array to memorize we have an option each step we burst left burst the right after those two sub problems solved the value we can get is this plus left plus right the time complexity after this array field, it will take n square, or it take constant time to return. So that's n square. Each time we have n option, that's n square times n, that's n cube. Again, every um, top down recursion with memorizing solution, we can tend to bottom up dynamic programming. Here is our dynamic programming example. So if you draw this tree or this tree, when you do it bottom up, the length would be start with zero, which is empty here. I didn't draw it. It, it will be zero. Java will initialize this to zero by default. That's termination condition. Now, 
length will be start from 1 to n. So let's start from here. If you use this recurrent tree at bottom is 1, then next it will become 2, 3. Then we are, next we are going to find each window. If length is 1, that's only 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 here. So the window, left of the window, it would be, for example, if length is 3, you only can move left to here. So that's how this condition, you find, you figure out this condition. Now in, inside each window, we have an option. We from left to right, we have an option. For each option, because we using bottom up, for example, here length is one, we all we all dissolved. That's three, fifteen, fourteen, fourteen. So when length is two, first uh, you divide you have two options. You can burst one first, last, you can burst index of 2 last. So if you post 3 last, the element on the sub problem on the left you are dissolved. Left is empty so it's 0. And the right side is 2, two to the 2 is 15 all dissolved. So this value here would be L minus 1 times number 1 num i times r plus number of r, r plus 1. So you got 13. Then another option would be you burst 1 in the last. So on the left side, that's 3 here, you already know then here is if you burst one it would be you burst one last it will be three times fifteen on the right side if you only consider length of two on the right side it's zero so that's eighteen so the maximum value of here it, it would be thirteen or oh, thirty thirty so you just keep this loop going, then you will fill up all the table. I'm not going to do it step by step. So as you can see, the optional condition is the same as divide and conquer here. There is only little difference here is that on for top down, left or right, you don't know yet, so you call this recursion function to calculate. But for this one, you have an option, left and right, the maximum value from left and from right, you already know. So you just use that value to cal calculate, fill the table. So that's our dynamic programming solution. Okay, thank, thanks for watching.